Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before I begin, please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Thank you. Narcissists do this to destroy you. There is something that all narcissists will do in their efforts to destroy you. What they really want is for you to feel hopeless and helpless and you don't care too much about anything. After you've endured enormous disappointment or loss and you're paranoid and distrustful, but you just stop trying because you feel like nothing will help and nothing will ever change. That's really what they want for you. And they will do whatever it takes to get you to this place because they're seeking to fill a void that they have inside of themselves. So it's like no matter what they do, they can never be satisfied, which is why they have to go to extremes in an attempt to fill this void. But no matter what they do, it's never enough because they have a void that can never be filled. So they will drive you to a point where you feel crazy where you feel like you don't want to live anymore, as though it would be better if you were dead, because you feel worthless, you're questioning your worth, you've been gaslit for a very long time, through the use of psychological manipulation, when you don't know right from left or from down, so they've taken you to this dark place, this place that you have never been before, you may have a family, a job, a business. You may have so many things that you were once grateful for and passionate about. But now you've been taken to a place where you just want to give up on everything because you feel like it's not worth existing anymore. And when this happens, they may use it as justification to blame and abuse you even more and to establish a position of authority and self-righteousness over you. Or they may even use it to start a smear campaign against you so that you don't threaten to expose them. But this really has nothing to do with something you've done or haven't done. There wasn't anything you could have done differently because things still would have turned out this way based on how they were treating you. So it has nothing to do with your strength. It's just that you were around the wrong people. Because even the strongest people can be broken down if they are manipulated and abused over a long period of time. Before you met the narcissist, you could have been living your best life. You may have had your own business. You may have had a new house. And you were at your peak. You are at your highest, strongest and best point. You are at your highest level of value. And then you got around the narcissist and then all of that fell apart. You went from the peak of the mountain to rock bottom, to the lowest possible level. And to the most unhappy that you have ever been in your life. Because you were around them. So you got brought down to their level. And even when you try to climb out of the pit that they have left you in, they will come back. Because they want to keep you in this dark place. This place that you don't want to be in. And it weakens you. It causes you to lose your identity. Until you don't even know who you are anymore. And this happens to everyone who gets involved with narcissistic people. People who have families, people who have children, grandchildren, people who have so much to live for, and yet they still end up at this dark place where they feel like it would be easier to end their life. Because narcissists want to take you to this dark place, because that is where they live, it's their permanent residence. They're already there and it's very lonely for them. So they need to pull someone else down to be there with them. And the happier and more successful you are, the better. 
because it means that you're that much further away from the ground, so you're going to have a harder fall. The brighter your light is, the more they're just going to want to put it out, because then they're hoping that it's going to be even more satisfying for them. It's a void that they're trying to fill, an insatiable desire, so they're always going to want more. And this is why they will typically try to take you to a bright place first before they finally take you down because they like that contrast. They love taking a happy, enthusiastic person who is full of life and taking them to a place where they feel miserable and unhappy and they just want to give up on their lives. Nothing brings them more joy because that's what they feel like has happened to them. So they want to watch you going through the exact same thing. They want to destroy your dreams and aspirations. They want to destroy your life because they feel like theirs has already been destroyed. So they pull you to this dark place because that's where they are. They struggle with anxiety and depression. They experience intense feelings of worry, eagerness, impatience, desire, longing and yearning where they feel like they just have to do something because they're miserable. They want you to feel how they feel. They feel bad so they want you to feel bad. So they need to pull you down because they don't understand how you get to be happy when they're miserable. How they're stuck in some dark place and you're living your best life which is why they never celebrate your achievements or success. They don't even want to hear about it. They don't celebrate your birthday. They don't get you anything for Christmas. Even if they do nice things for everyone else, they won't do anything good for you because they want to destroy your happiness. They want to pull you down to their dark place. Even though you don't belong there, they may pull you down there and it may exist for a short period of time. But you don't belong there. If you did, you would feel comfortable and you would be the same as them. But that's where they want you to belong. So they try to put out your flame. They try to stamp out your light. But you can't let that happen. You must continue to love yourself and you must continue to shine because otherwise they're going to take credit for your success and ruin your life. They want to ruin everything for you. They want to crush your self-esteem and they want to make you insecure because they're very insecure. And they're looking at it like, why do you get to feel confident? Why do you get to be happy? Why do you get to have this power and authority? So they want to pull you down to this dark place but for some reason you just keep coming back and they keep trying to pull you down. But no matter what they do, they just can't get rid of you. They may keep you down for a certain amount of time, but you just keep going and you never stop. You never give up. And they just can't understand it because they gave up a long time ago. So they need their dark place. But you need the light. So you have to keep moving. You have to keep your mind focused on something else because otherwise you're going to sink into depression and you're going to end up just like them. So you have to pull yourself out of it because you're the only one who can do it. No one else is going to be able to sustain you. But the narcissist has been in the driving seat in your life for such a long time and they've been driving you mad They've been driving you around the bend and they've caused so many problems for you because they were never meant to have power or authority. They were never meant to have control. You were the one who was meant to be in the driving seat. You were the one who was meant to have the power, authority and control. And if you did, things would have turned out very differently for them and for you because they do it to themselves. at the cause of their own destruction and it's because they're seeking power. But they were never meant to have power. 
They were meant to be subservient to you. And you are the one who was meant to be in control because you don't belong in this place where they're taking you, which is why you don't like it. It doesn't feel good and you're trying to escape because it's not meant for you. You're meant for greater things and they know it but they can't stand it because they're jealous of you. But the reality is that it's not where you belong. It's not your natural environment. It's not your native origin. It's like you're a lion and they just dropped you in the middle of the ocean. Of course you might drown. Of course you're going to struggle to stay afloat because it's not where you belong. The dark place is not your native origin and that's why it feels so foreign to you. It's why you're uncomfortable. It's why you're unhappy. And it's why you may contemplate ending your life. Because it doesn't feel like it's your life anymore. It feels like you're living someone else's life. But even if you took your own life, it's not like they're even going to attend your funeral. They weren't even there to celebrate your achievements. So if you take your own life, they're not going to be there for you. They're not worth your time. They're not worth thinking about. They're not worth anything. So just forget about what they're trying to do and keep moving forward. Because there is light at the end of the tunnel. Away from this narcissist and that you're dealing with. And it all starts by rebuilding your self-love. But you can't do that around the narcissist. It's like putting a lion in the middle of the ocean. Of course it's going to die. Because you don't belong there. It's not your natural environment. But it's their natural environment. So they're quite comfortable there. And they enjoy pulling you into it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to donate, uh, if you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.